don't care. It looks good. Otherwise, I'm like, I'm a toad. If I go like this, am I still in frame? Yeah, but you know, I'm the number one because <laughs> I'm the star. <laughs> Hi guys! <laughs> Hi guys, this is Kirsten. Um, That's all you know. We're outside because, you know, change of scenery is nice. We have this table. <laughs> Hi guys, this is Kirsten and this is... Jay. And for those of you that don't know and didn't read the title because reasons, I don't know, uh, he's my fiance. He's been around. If Usually... you don't know, now you know. <laughs> and he sings. So what are we going to be talking about today, Kirsten? The fact that you're FTM. That's not a disease, <laughs> unlike some people think it is. Bah! Transgender, female to male. Oh my god! That's true, we've been together almost seven years now. I've only been on testosterone for five years, I think. You know more than me. I I'm pretty sure. I think I started in June of 2014. So what is five, the math? Five years, yeah, I don't like know. Five years. Yeah. So but, wait, we were together two years prior to you? Yes. I didn't even know that. Peacock! Yeah, we have peacocks around here, so if you, <laughs> if you hear that, that's what that is, just so They're you know. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, today I'm going to be asking Kirsten some questions regarding, tr like, specifically, like, female to male transgender things, so... I'm being interviewed. Yeah. I'm special, and my opinion matters. Yes. Question number one. Before dating me, how much did you know about trans people? I know more than the average person. I'm mm -hmm. just a naturally curious human being, so uh, this wouldn't be the most flattering, but how I heard of trans people is like through National Geographic, you know, the yeah. Taboo series, and I was just like, huh, that's kind of interesting, and I just did some you know, research as to what went into that and all this stuff. I didn't know anyone personally. I didn't know the intricacies, but I knew of transness. Yeah. And I was like, cool for people. That sounds weird. I'm cool for people. But I, I was like, <laughs> I, I mean, I'm the kind of person that as long as something isn't harming me or other people, I don't give a crap what you do. Mm -hmm. Just be you. Bugaboo. Be yourself. Be yourself. Yeah. So I didn't know a bit. I didn't know like every fine detail, right, but I right. knew of it. Hey, that's pretty good though. A lot of people don't know that much about it. Yeah. Yumps. All right. What was your uh, first initial reaction when I told you that I was trans? Horrified. I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> well, kind of uh, back it up a bit. I think we were dating a couple months. About a month. About a month. Okay, so it was right in the beginning. So it wasn't like three years into it, shocking uh -huh. sort of thing. But it still was kind of... Um, this was, was like before I came out as trans carrots. to anybody. Yeah. So you were, one, well, one of the first people. Uh, yeah. Old. Um, I was at a Dollar Tree with my mom prior to a party when he told me. He texted me. Yeah. And I was just like... I'm like, oh, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> just BT so dub. You know, Yeah. <laughs> Like, yeah. I, I'm trans. And I was I was taken aback, I'm not gonna lie, but I wasn't completely shocked. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because there was, like, some... Like, it didn't feel like this was totally off basis. You yeah. weren't the girliest of girls. You were very uncomfortable with anything feminine yeah. or things of that nature. So it, it was just more like, wow, well, why didn't you tell me sort of thing. Yeah. That, that was, I think, what I first said. was mm -hmm. like, why didn't you tell me when we first started talking? Blah, 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 blah. Well, he hadn't, um, he hadn't come to terms with it himself, so it yeah. was unfair of me to get upset. I was kind of like on the fence about it, because the first time I really started to seriously question whether or not I was, was in uh, like 2011 or so, and I, something had always felt off up to that point. But it wasn't until 2011 where I was like, I'm pretty sure this is what, you know, what I'm feeling, you know, this is who I am, da 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 da. But I, you know, had, I had heard so many bad things about people that came out as trans and how hard it was and how expensive it could be. And I was like, you know what, no, I'm just going to try to, you know, just be a girl still and like this and that, try and, you know, just live with that. And it wasn't working out. 
and then I finally felt comfortable with you to tell you. And One month in, because I am that comforting of a yes! person. Yes! It's true. Third question. Uh, what was it like telling our families? I honestly cannot remember. You remember telling one of my family members. I cannot remember telling people. Yeah. Probably because, again, it, it's not a big deal to me. Yeah, it's not it's like, not oh, like, we have to, like, parade it's not, around. It's not saying, like, oh, he murdered a child or something. Like, <clears throat> that would be way more embarrassing. And, like, oh, no, he, he's just, he's trans. He's, that's it. Like, it's yeah. a thing. Like, oh, he's changing his hair color or mm -hmm. something. That's how I view it. Um, so, I, and I'm the kind of person that doesn't like to beat around the bush. I yeah. don't like to be like, oh, mm -hmm. well, there's this and that. No, it's like the time I told them when I was dating you, I was like, oh, this is Jill. That's his yeah. former name. Yeah. This is Jill. She's my girlfriend. The end. Basically, I'm just the person that's out with it. Yeah. So tell the story of how I told you. Oh, I told my father. Oh, yeah. So me, her, her sister, and her dad were all at the mall one time, and I think we had told your sister already. Probably. Probably. I don't. I honestly can't remember how we told her sister or her mom. But anyways, so we're walking around, and I'm like, oh, maybe I should tell him. Like, I don't know. Like, I was getting close to, like, starting testosterone, I think. And I was like, okay, I don't, babe, I don't know how to tell him. And you're like, just hold on. And you're like, Dad. And she's like, I need to, I need to tell you something. And he's like, whoa, okay. So he came over, and he's standing to my left. She's standing to my right. You were like, Dad, do you know who Chaz Bono is? And he's like, yeah. <laughs> and she's all like, well, that's what Jill is like. And he's like, and as soon as she said that, I was just like, looking between the two. And then I just stopped, and I was looking at him like, huh. He's like, oh, that's cool. And then he's like, do you want to go eat at Red Robin's? That's my father. He's yeah. like, I don't care. Food. Yeah. Give same. me the food. <laughs> Honestly, same. That's... They're all related. <laughs> yeah, just like that. Just pull it over because it's why, mm -hmm. why make it a big deal? Yep. I mean, I don't want to belittle anyone's transition or how they got to the fact, but I just know my family, and that's just how we communicate. Like, this is how it is. Deal with it. Mm -hmm. The end. Yep. Boom. Let's eat. <laughs> Telling mine was... You know, it, it was actually pretty good. I, I feel very lucky. My mom, it was a breeze. As soon as I told her, she's like, that makes a lot of sense. You know, it, it, all, all the kind of things that I didn't really get when you were a kid, it all, like, comes together and whatever. And telling my dad was a little bit rocky in the beginning, to be, you know, completely honest. I'm not bagging him or anything. But I feel like it got... Okay, parrots. <laughs> but I feel like... Uh, the last few years, he's really opened up about it, and he, I think he just, it, it took him a little time to just see that it really did make me happier, and I was just a much happier person, and better to be around, yeah. and now he's really good about and it. And me so. being the very protective person that I am, I was not thrilled with his reaction. Initially. And, initially. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm... She's protective of There me. you go. That's a nice word. I'm protective. Yeah. Like, don't say anything to my little pudgy person here. Like, <laughs> don't come after him. Mm -hmm. He's mine, and I will hunt you down and gut you like a fish. But it wasn't the worst reaction. I know it, it wasn't the worst been, reaction, sure. but, I, again, I'm, I come from the thing where if someone's your child, you love them no matter what. Yeah. He came around. He did, and everything's all good now. I feel like... We have, we've, we, our relationship never really was rocky because of it, but yeah, it's pretty good now. Yeah. Uh, also, I think the only time coming out or your transness was like an issue with anyone in my life was with, uh, at work. Oh, yeah. The story. Oh. The story. Okay. Did you want to go into it? Why not? I mean, okay, this is the kind of thing that dating. We're drawing trans, off top off, this off is, questions This is now. part. Of, this happens, and this yeah. is a relatively small thing that happens when it comes to the adversity that a trans person encounters. Yeah, I work at a school type setting. Um, very inclusive. We work with all sorts of human beings. The administrations are all sorts of different. It's types. a colorful rainbow administration <laughs> okay so i mean and we live in southern california so yeah. it's not like we live in the most conservative area no. by any means however i started working there i was working there for like about a year they were hiring and i was like hey jay do you want to like come down and work here and boom he got the job well 
prior to that, I was working under a teacher and she was very nosy about my personal life mm -hmm. and was like, well, are you dating anyone? And I'm like, yeah, I have a fiance. No, we weren't engaged at the time. No. I have a boyfriend. He is, this is what I tell him, tell the bare minimum. I'm not a very open person. Yeah. And he was like, oh, can I see a picture? And this was prior to when you were going to testosterone or just starting. Just testosterone. starting. So yeah. he didn't have any like, like maybe facey, a, a few months. If no that. facial hair, no nothing. Just a cute little baby face. But I found the picture that he. I thought he looked the most manly. Manly. But this lady was like, hmm, he looks like a girl. And I'm like, well, he's not. I didn't explain it to her, I didn't need to, and I dropped it. It wasn't until he started coming to work there that she became... Obsessive. Obsessed, like it was hell-bent, she was hell-bent on outing him and proving to everyone on staff that he was not a real man. Just look at his crotch. There's nothing there. Why is she looking at my man's crotch? I don't know, but she did, and she was telling what? everyone, and like, it never impeded what he was doing with his job no nope. ever never once never nothing once because someone's genitals should not be out or talked about in the workplace i no. mean in most workplaces yeah so it's like it, it had nothing to do with it but she was making this really hostile uncomfortable environment until like i just had enough i yeah. think i started crying and yeah. i went to administration and i told them and because they already knew, like, when they hired me, they knew. Like, because at the time, my name hadn't been changed yet. You know, so they knew, and they were super cool, because, again, they're a very, like, welcoming community and very open. And so I just didn't feel like telling anyone else, you know, because I'm like, I just didn't want to deal with the stupid questions that came along with it. So, you know, so the people that hire me knew, but no one else in there knew. And so when they found out, they were really upset with it. And <laughs> she was fired. Yeah, she was fired. Because that, I mean, I, that sounds like not everyone that's an asshole is fired for being an asshole. But yeah. the fact that I think it was like a hostile work environment and discrimination and such. And she was also doing other things. Yeah, but that's, it wasn't that's not, that we're not going to go into that. No, but, but to say. this was just one of many reasons why yeah. she ended up being fired. She was just a not nice person. <laughs> yep. Sorry, people who watch this that know her and like her. But yeah. now you know. If you don't know now, you know. But yeah, I think that was the most dramatic or the most... It was the biggest thing that's happened to us because of this whole thing yeah. so far. Any, like, trans-related thing. Yeah. So, like, it's because it's by far not the worst thing that's ever happened to anyone. But it was an uncomfortable and upsetting situation. Yeah, and I think it affected you. I mean, obviously, yeah. because it's like... Because after that, I mean, a... no one... I felt like no one there treated me different, I don't but think people. They questioned. Well, I had a couple people come up to me and be like, "Hey, I heard you know this from." Because I think what initially happened too is what I told you is someone had one of the people I was working with in a class had come up to me and been like, "Hey, so and so said you know this and this about you. Like, is that true?" And that's when I had told you, and that I think set it off. What is your thoughts on, like, for us uh, specifically, being les being viewed as lesbians, being uh, viewed, like, versus being viewed as a heterosexual couple? Yeah, I think that's an interesting topic, and that's the one that I kind of put in there, because it really... I, I personally notice a difference. I think you did as well. Yeah. In terms of how people reacted to us as a couple when we were both viewed as female versus now people typically are just like this is a dude mm -hmm. a very short dude compared to this very tall woman <laughs> but, 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 other, <laughs> but other than that i mean they're just a regular straight couple and mm -hmm. i think that in the beginning i think that was one of the markers that oh you made it you're <laughs> you're a straight mm -hmm. and we're, we're straight now which is odd because when we were gay we were really gay we were <laughs> like butch. super gay mm -hmm. and um Short hair, colored hair, piercings, like flannel. We we we, we were, did it. Oh, we did the thing. Yep. But <laughs> but I mean, so people would take notice and they would look and they would stare and they just have that like kind of scowl, like 
Ugh. Like, God forbid we, like, kissed and yeah. then all hell broke loose. I mean, again, this is in the L.A. area, mm -hmm. people. This is not in the Midwest or the Bible Belt. Yep. So this is the... <laughs> there's still looks and scowls and, I mean, it made your skin crawl and it made any sort of PDA or even touching kind of uncomfortable. But yeah. again, I'm the kind of person that's like, oh, you don't like me doing something? I'm going to do it more. <laughs> he was more comfortable with it yeah. than I was and am because I'm like, I'm not doing anything that's inappropriate. I'm not doing something that a typical per couple would be doing. It's not like yeah. I'm, you know, taking my clothes off and climbing on you. No, I'm just, you know, hugging you and giving you a kiss and that should be something that is fine. Yeah. But... Yeah, and then slowly but surely, um, the looks stop really coming. And yeah. Then around the same time, my hair did I start growing my hair out again? Yeah. And it, I think unintentionally, maybe I did or you did. You were just being you. Yeah. Me, I was like going back because it's like it's uncomfortable mm -hmm. to be stared at and looked at and just because judged. your like, hair is short and colorful. And yeah. You dress a certain way. So it's like you went from being very kind of masculine dress, like dressing very masculine, to dressing feminine again. Yeah, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty pretty feminine. I mm -hmm. think most people before watching this video would not have known that I had a very gay face. Very. <laughs> um, and I, I did. I liked, I enjoyed, I enjoyed it. But, you know, it's exhausting. Yeah. It's exhausting. And I'm a Due very, to other people. Yeah, due to other people, not because of me. And, but that's a whole other topic. Yeah. But definitely, it was, it's sad to say that it was kind of a relief when we started getting less looks. Yeah. It's sad. Because yeah. it shouldn't be the case that we had to compromise who we are to appease other people. Yeah. But that's what ended up happening. Yeah. And, you know. What was year one of me on testosterone like? That was your question. Your questions are good. Yeah. Year one, testosterone. It was a roller coaster. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna. So I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. Um, I was in it, and I understood that this was part of your journey into being who you are. But oh my gosh, imagine going through male puberty with your partner, who used to be very emotional and sweet, and not that you're not sweet. I'm not saying that you're not you sweet. heard it first here, kids. Yeah. Pulk, smash, just kidding. <laughs> no, but like testosterone really does change yeah. someone. Yeah. And eventually he's, he's calmed down. But like yeah. initially when you're getting this foreign hormone into your system. Testosterone are, rage is real. Yeah, over anything. Any tiny oh my little God, thing. It was so annoying. Just, it's like I could just couldn't. It was like the days where you're like the most pissed off you know, about something really stupid. It was like that every day over everything. And it was so annoying. And it's like, it took a long time to figure out how to control that rage and to, you know, not get so mad about things so easily. And I feel like I've really improved. Oh, you have. <laughs> You're better than I am now. And I don't have testosterone to blame. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but I think that was, it was hard to not take things personally and remove myself from the situation because it hurt and it was like well what ha what like what, what's happening what did i do yeah. what did happen like, it was just very like intense and there wasn't like physical no abuse, no, 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 no 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 just so you know the uh, way you were making it sound like it was like that i'm like oh no, but, but he, just so you know he never laid a hand i'm no. talking about like arguments over stupid shit yeah, ridiculous. like oh you put the dog we didn't even have a dog I, no. what did we talk about before we had dogs and stuff i don't know <laughs> like you didn't feed the rats or something i don't know yeah like you put our my clothes in the wrong drawer i don't know example yeah. or road rage that oh, is God, one road rage. Oh. that was one that he just started screaming and yelling and i'm someone who's very hypersensitive to, to sound so it would just be like nothing nothing loud and i would just literally every bot every part of my body would tense and I would just be like babe can you please calm down can you please just chill and then it was just yeah and also I and also I learned to control my own emotions because again I'm a very passionate person mm -hmm. don't even say anything I didn't say anything <laughs> but yeah it, it's gonna be a journey yeah. there's gonna be some hiccups but again you have to evaluate it 
in yourself. Like, geez, we you not. I want to be in the video too. <laughs> I think that segues into the advice for someone. It's just there are going to be changes besides the physical, besides the hair. I mean, the hair growth, whatever. That's nothing. I think what was the most challenging or the most surprisingly profound change was in your personality and your emotional expression. Yeah. Um, and that's the stuff that you know you need to prepare for. And look, there's hundreds of videos now about transitioning and we live in an age where it's like right at the, our fingertips so look into that with your partner do it together and just get yourself prepared you know yeah. that this is what's gonna happen and take some time for yourself to take care of you and just you know this is not something that sounds weird it's like a fine line between taking care of yourself but also being understanding of someone else's journey yeah and it's gonna be a hard thing and they're going through it you know it's not about you they're going through it firsthand they're yeah. you know and this is something that they need to do to be who they are and be happy like and that's what i told myself at the end of the day when everything was like kind of like rocky and arguey and stuff it's like this is making him who he is and this will make him a happier more content human being and that's something i want for someone i love so much <laughs> it's true that's all i want i want and don't continue to want mm -hmm. and i mean we're over that little hurdle <laughs> yes the, 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 the initial puberty <laughs> hurdle um it's possible 20 year old um, going through puberty is not fun it's adorable. Oh, it is funny because you know the voice cracks. Oh my god! And then he's the acne. He's like five foot four. Five foot five. He's five foot four. And five foot five. <laughs> and I'm like close to six feet. I'm like five ten, five. I don't know. I'm tall. So it's just seeing this tiny little Hobbit man. Yeah, cute. Yeah, yeah. That's also how I went through it. Humor. Mm-hmm. Lots of humor. We both have a shared sense of humor, but. Yeah. I think that's a good start hopefully it wasn't too overwhelming and if you have any questions about anything comments you want to see more of jay you want to see more of me obviously <laughs> so, subscribe. hi uh you can you can subscribe to me <laughs> oh yeah this he is does my have, channel now. he does have youtube channels which i'll link down below yeah he's super cool and i never make videos he does sometimes sometimes but you know it could change. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, guys. Peacock. Say, pe 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 say bye. Bye. <laughs> bye. Bye. bye.